Good evening, I'm Paul Fraser and this is the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, held a telephone call with Sheikh Jabba Al Mubarak Al Ahmed Al Subah, congratulating him on being reappointed as Prime Minister by the Emir of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Sabah Al Ahmed Al Jabbar Al Subah. His Royal Highness wished Sheikh Jabir Al Mubarak Al Subah success in carrying out his national duty to further development of Kuwait. Under its wise leadership, Sheikh Jabir Al Mubarak Al Subah expressed thanks and appreciation for His Royal Highness's sincere wishes, noting the deep rooted fraternal relations between the two countries, their leaderships, and their people, wishing Bahrain progress on all levels. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, visited the headquarters of the Thai government in Bangkok this morning. Upon arrival, His Royal Highness was received by Thai Prime Minister, General Prayuth Chan Oka. His Royal Highness held a meeting with his Thai counterpart, reviewing the outstanding bilateral relations and means of further bolstering them at all levels. The two sides also discussed prospects of cooperation, as well as a number of topics that would enhance bilateral cooperation. General Chan Oka welcomed His Royal Highness's visit to Thailand, which reflects the existing deep-rooted relations and bilateral cooperation. He commended the efforts of the Prime Minister in bolstering relations with Thailand in particular and with the ASEAN member states in general. His Royal Highness affirmed that the continuous development of relations reflects the two countries' keenness on strengthening cooperation to meet their common interests and benefit their peoples. His Royal Highness praised the role of the joint Bahraini Thai Supreme Committee and the agreements and MOUs in the fields of the economy, commerce and investment in establishing economic partnerships. He noted the importance of benefiting from the economic potential of the two countries by investing in joint projects, particularly in the fields of food security, finance, Islamic finance, tourism and energy. The Prime Minister also expressed the Kingdom's keenness on coordinating stances regarding both regional and international affairs. The sites discussed the latest regional and global developments and emphasised the importance of maintaining peace and stability. The Thai Prime Minister expressed his country's thanks and appreciation for the efforts of His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa in strengthening relations, affirming the importance of His Royal Highness's visit. He commended the development of Bahrain at all levels. Representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs and Chairman of the Board of Trustees of the Royal Charity Organization, the RCO, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamid Al Khalifa received RCO Secretary General Dr. Mustafa Al Said today on the occasion of signing an agreement to construct the organization's third investment tower named Burj Al Khair, which is part of the RCO's Towers Project. His Highness praised the humanitarian initiatives of His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa and his support to the RCO by providing a permanent source of income for the organization and strengthening its financial status with development investment. He also commended His Majesty's support to Bahraini orphans and widows. Sheikh Nasser expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for granting land and Sanibus to build the investment tower, hailing the support of the government under the leadership of His Royal Highness, the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and the support of the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander, and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa. The first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, Honorary President of Bahrain Mixed Martial Arts Federation, that's the BMMAF, and Chairman of the Supreme Organising Committee of Brave International Combat Week, and the fourth edition of the Mixed Martial Arts Championship, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamid Al Khalifa received at his Majlis in Al Wadi Palace the Minister of Information Affairs, Ali Mohammed Al Romehi. A number of officials from the Ministry, editors in chief of local newspapers, and media personnel in the presence of the Minister of Youth and Sports Affairs, and member of the Championship's Supreme Organising Committee, Hisham bin Mohammed Al Jowda. 
His Highness affirmed that media is essential to the success of the international event and that the kingdom will be host for the first time in Asia and the Middle East. It will also play a vital role in promoting Bahrain, showing the capability of the kingdom in hosting various international, continental and sports events, as well as activities and programs. He added that the mixed martial arts sport had promoted the kingdom on the international map after the achievements that were made in a record period as a result of the support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the leadership as well as the follow-up of the personal representative of His Majesty the King for charity work and youth affairs, President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and Chairman of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa which helped the kingdom gain the trust of the International Federation to host the championship outside Las Vegas for the very first time. The Minister of Information Affairs emphasized the kingdom's pride in hosting Brave Week, which was a result of the leadership support and the efforts of His Highness Sheikh Khalid, noting that Bahraini media will be a partner in highlighting the event in the kingdom. First Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, Honorary Member, President of the Bahrain Mixed Martial Arts Federation, the BMMAF, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamid Al Khalifa, received today the CEO of Spartan Fitness Centre, Faris Mustafa Al Kohiji. His Highness was briefed on the establishment of the centre and its programmes that aim to promote sports amongst society and discussed the idea of holding the strongest Bahraini man championship with Al Kohiji. His Highness Sheikh Khalid expressed admiration for the idea of establishing the centre and its goals of strengthening the members' abilities and develop their athletic levels. Mr Al Khohiji expressed thanks and appreciation to His Highness, hailing his efforts to serve the youth and sports sectors in the Kingdom, affirming the centre's keenness to implement the visions and goals of His Highness Sheikh Khalid. The Commander-in-Chief of the Bahrain Defence Force, the BDF, Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, visited the Royal College of Command Staff and National Defence today, where he was received by the BDF Chief of Staff, Lieutenant General Dayab bin Sakhar al Noemi, and senior BDF officers. The BDF Commander-in-Chief was briefed on the implementation of the College's development plans, which have enhanced the level of military training as a result of the directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. The Commander-in-Chief of the BDF then gave a lecture in the Command and Staff course concerning military and strategic topics. He noted that the Royal College of Command Staff and National Defence is employing all its resources to train batches of qualified leaders and officers to further develop the BDF. Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed chaired the Royal College's meeting where he noted that the directives of His Majesty the King have resulted in outstanding combat and administrative achievements. He added that the BDF strives to update its military and training curricula and develop its human resources. The BDF Commander-in-Chief affirmed the importance of the Royal College of Command, Staff and National Defence's role in the field of higher military education to arm officers with the latest military requirements on the strategic level. He wished the staff of the college further progress and success in achieving the set goals. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, received today at his office at the Ministry's General Court, Member of Parliament and President of the Parliamentary Bahraini Sudanese Friendship Committee, Mohammed Ahmed Wadat Allah, and his accompanying delegation. The Foreign Affairs Minister welcomed MP Wada At Allah and his accompanying delegation, commending the continuous development of the deep-rooted fraternal relations between the two countries, noting that it reflects the two sides' keenness on bolstering these relations at all levels to benefit both nations and their peoples. Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed commended the efforts of the Parliamentary Bahraini Sudanese Friendship Committee and wished it further success. 
MP Wada Atala expressed Sudan's pride in the outstanding bilateral relations. He underscored the keenness to further develop relations at all levels, wishing the kingdom further progress and prosperity. The Minister of Education, Dr. Majid bin Ali al Noemi, praised the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamid al Khalifa, during the 2017 Government Forum to enhance the performance of the educational institutions, considering their key role in national capacity building to achieve Bahrain's sustainable development goals within Bahrain's Economic Vision 2030. The Minister affirmed the Ministry's compliance with these directives to develop the performance of the private and public educational institutions and take many measures regarding private schools, including the Ministry's resolution decision to encourage and motivate excellent private schools. According to the results of the Education and Training Quality Authority auditing reports and the Ministry's follow-up to maintain and reinforce the performance of these schools. The Minister stated that this decision provides many privileges to excellent private schools, including facilitating procedures for admission of students and employment of teachers, as well as implementation of various educational activities. The Minister of Labour and Social Development, Jamil bin Mohammed Homeidin, reviewed the latest pioneering initiatives taken by the Kingdom in providing more social protection for workers. This came during his meetings on the sidelines of the 331st session of the ILO Governing Council held in Geneva. He also reviewed the government's efforts to develop and modernize regulations and legislation to achieve greater labor gains in the kingdom in line with international labor standards as well as to promote channels of dialogue between the social partners in Bahrain. He went on to stress that all these achievements were due to the guidance of wise leadership and the policies and programs launched by the government. Upon the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa of allocating and distributing 4,800 residential units, the Under Secretary of the Ministry of Housing, Sheikh Abdullah bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, announced the commencement of distributing the Northern City units to eligible citizens. The Under Secretary affirmed the keenness of the Ministry to implement the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and to speed up the pace of implementing the residential projects to meet the needs of the citizens, noting that the Ministry has distributed thousands of units in the past period. Sheikh Abdullah added that distributing the Northern City units continues the distributions previously started within the time frame set by the Ministry. The Under Secretary affirmed that the Northern City project is considered one of the largest strategic projects implemented by the Ministry. He added that the Ministry depends on the government's support to meet the commitment. The Arab Interparliamentary Union issued a statement condemning the terror blasts which targeted a police bus near Jidhafs in the Kingdom of Bahrain, resulting in the death of one policeman and the injury of many others. The Union stated that this terrorist act targeted the security and stability of the country and the safety of its people, adding that such acts only aim to destabilize Bahrain. The Union called on all countries to stand with the Kingdom of Bahrain and support it in combating terrorism. The Union expressed its solidarity with Bahrain, its leadership and its people, calling on authorities to track down the perpetrators and bring them to justice. It also extended heartfelt condolences to the Bahraini government and people, wishing the injured a speedy recovery. Good evening and welcome to the business news on Bahrain International. I'm Bara Abdullah and let's start with the local stocks as Bahrain All Share Index has closed at 1,279.09 points, marking an increase of 2.40 points above the previous closing. The increase was in the commercial banks, investment and services sectors and investors traded mainly in the commercial banks with 63.87% of total shares. 78 transactions included 2,598,000 540 shares worth 916,230 Bahraini dinars.